What's up, everybody? This is Halen to Two as always, and this is the episode five of our monster series. Yeah, all the boots. All right. So Sid's right outside of my house right now, but today we're going to be doing a lot of stuff. I already uh, took the liberty of um, getting some stuff uh, created. Oh, I just got some kind of message. Anyway, I uh, I made some stuff, and all of these stuff, all of these things are really awesome. Let me just you know throw that thing down. Okay, so uh, remember that extra steam animal we made? Well, I've been using it to smelt some gold, which all of these things work quite well. But we're going to get some cooler stuff in a little bit, just not quite yet. Now, what is this awesome item that I have? The aqueous accumulator. Well, it like it says, it accumulates aqua or you know water it accumulates water basically over time with the air <coughs> it accumulates water <coughs> hmm. however um over time it will but it, it's sped up greatly with wait can you still make you can such a waste of tin right there however if there's water around it then this is not permanent by any means but if there is water around it it produces water a lot quicker so right now we're actually filling this up very slowly with water now if it had it on more than one side or on two sides this would be filling up very quick but you know we're not we don't have that so that's why it's kinda slow right now however the aqueous accumulator is quite a great block because it can actually supply a lot of water uh, however, I don't want to stick with this for too long because there is quite a uh, quite an amazing op or water gin um, that I will be showing you all. But for now, this will definitely work. However, I feel like we're really cramped in here, and honestly, this wasn't our end goal. You know, this was not the place we were going to stay at. So in this episode, I want to get to a transitional period. Basically, I want to get to the place where we have a giant place under our house that we can do work in, but this will be our little station to come into, and everybody will be like, oh, it's just a log cabin, and they walk in here, oh, this guy has nothing. You know, you flip a lever, then there's just like this, this stairway that comes down, and you walk down it, and boom, you just have this giant labyrinth, right? Wouldn't that be amazing? I know it would. Ha ha ha. Awesome, awesome. Now, what are we doing this episode? I think it's time to get some power set up. So, to do this... I'm going to, well, hmm, let's see, one second, let's go ahead and dig out a little bit of an area under our house. We need to go ahead and set up a power system, just some way to, you know, get some power, um, I don't need that one, some power running through our house, because we're going to definitely need it, uh, in order to, um, move on. Uh, hmm. All right, so I think I think we need to get pipes, or not pipes, but uh, uh gosh, energy energy conduits. God, I, I have not made the I have not played this game in so long. There was a solid few weeks before the map reset that I just I didn't play at all, and um, starting to forget. It's running out of my brain. It's between silver and gold, so we're gonna have to start pulverizing a lot of stuff. And honestly, I don't know if we always want it to be. Uh, you know, infernerized. <laughs> that was like, not even a word. Anyway, we're going to definitely. Hmm. Let's start it. Whatever. We're just gonna break hey, this. Hey, wake up! Oops, just got poked. One second. All right. So we're going to set up a quick little dirty way of doing this. So, break this down. Boop. Break this down, boop. And if I keep getting messaged, I might just go crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> One second, guys, let's see. <laughs> this is a very dirty way of doing it. However, this will definitely run our pulverizer because we're gonna actually have to pulverize most of our uh, stuff in order to really get anywhere. But see how fast that water fills up when there's just two on on the side. So this pulverizer is going to be running for a while now. Let's get a hopper going. Um, 
By the way, vanilla hopper is probably the best thing in the game. I know, I know, I just said it. Vanilla items can't be good, right? Well, honestly, the vanilla hopper is probably my favorite item. In vanilla, that's not my favorite item. But, you know, in vanilla just beats everything. It's better than the normal hoppers used to be. You know, the buffers, I think, is what they're called. Anyway, uh, we're just going to put a lot of ore in here. This... Um, we need really just tin and gold right now. But honestly, I don't think I have too much. I mean, silver and gold right now. Oh, man, I, I think I'm enough silver. I'm going to go mining, but I, while I do that, I'll definitely have this stuff uh, being pulverized. This isn't going to be outputting right now, just because I want it to... Um, Actually, no, I can output, I just don't want it to be in this redstone furnace. This is probably the worst setup I've ever had, but it'll definitely work. Alright, guys. So, oh. oh my gosh. Wow, that was, that was really great. Okay, so. This is basically very dirty, very quick, but it will work, and uh, yeah, so as we can see, we're pulverizing the stuff up. Full power makes it go as quick as possible, but it also drains more power, but honestly, a stack of coal will last quite a while in this. So, I'm going to let this uh, run for a while, get through all of this ore, and I'll be back. Alright guys, <laughs> well, I went mining and stuff, and I got a lot of stuff. So, I don't know how much we really need, but uh, for the conduits, we definitely do need electrum. Um, now, two makes quite a bit, so I'll make eight. Uh, that seems like a pretty decent amount uh, for now. We're just going to go ahead and place this down. Um, it's not actually going to get powered, but I'm just kind of getting sick of having to hold on to it. Uh, but yeah, so... Fail. Wow. That's a good job, Ruther. There we go. And, uh, and yeah. So, we definitely have a decent amount of silver now. Honestly, we probably shouldn't be using it all for Electrum, because we actually do need silver, but at least we now have this, and that's half of what we need. The other part is hardened glass. Now, apparently we can also get fused glass, and uh, let's see what else is there. Fused glass, shock, it's just hardened glass and fused glass. Um, now, <clears throat> now for fused er, hardened glass, we need obsidian, and eight obsidian dust at that. So, that's actually quite a lot, so... Um, I guess we're going to go ahead and set that up in the uh, queue for for pulverizings. Let's check on our uh, coal. We're doing pretty well on coal still. Um, and then we need a lead ingot. Now, how are we doing on lead? Uh, not too great. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, voting. You need to vote. Please vote. Everybody vote. You can type slash vote, and uh, yeah, definitely. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Kind of had some death issues. A little bit of a glitch thing. I don't know, it's weird. Very weird. But once you uh once you click vote, you get redirected to our home site, uh on the monster little thing, and then you can vote on the uh on the right. So yes, please do that every day and you get quite a bit of items, so let me just do that real quick. Just watch for just a second. I'm very sorry, this is probably not the most interesting thing to watch. However, I'm pretty sure you guys should probably do this when you're on the server. Ba -dum -ba -dum -bum. So you just have to complete a little capture and let's see. There we go. Vote and there we go. So you see, we voted for the server and we got 16 tin to 16 copper. And you can do this like four times. That's a stack of copper, a stack of uh, tin just for voting. So, you know, make sure you do that, guys. Anyway, back to what we were doing. I'll go ahead and vote the rest in just a second. Uh, all right, guys. So, we need hardened glass. Now, this thing is probably making it by now. No? Nope, it's already made it. Cool. I think, right? Um, oh, cadmium. Okay. Cadmium cannot actually get smelted. I mean, uh, pulverized. All right, it's fine. Um, let's just get this stuff. Oh, here's some lead. That's nice. 
There's some pulverized lead. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, this pulverized uh, dust, and those are all ingots, so it's pretty good. We just need to smelt them down first. Anyway, um, oops. Put all this stuff in here. Alright, so, uh, as soon as this gets cooked and such, um, we go ahead and get about maybe, let's see, eight pulverized lead. Whoa. Oop. There we go. Just do that. Get, uh, you know, all that stuff. Now this is finally where we get to use a new machine. The induction smelter is quite like any other smelter, except this item is used to combine two things. Now, we're also going to be, uh, a little strapped on energy because we do not have any conduits right now, but we can make something that's really awesome, and it's going to be a wrench. Uh, now, obviously, we want the uh, flux of flux infused Omni wrench eventually, but this thing is kind of expensive, um, as you can see. But we're not going to make that quite yet. Right now, we're just going to make a simple old uh, build craft wrench, which does work for this. Believe it or not, I believe, I, I'm pretty sure last time I checked it does, so we'll definitely see, oops, forgot some cobblestone, there we go, oh, and iron, let's not forget that, um, boop, boop, oh my gosh, boop, there we go, alright, so boop, 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 so we get a gear, this is a buildcraft item. Uh, buildcraft is really awesome. It's one of the older mods. These were, um, it was really just buildcraft and industrial craft back in the day. And yep, okay, so it still does work. Thermal expansion was actually an expansion for buildcraft at one point, um, but it's not quite what it was uh, these days. A eulorium dust crap. It's not quite what we want to use. Can I use this? Okay, I can. It's nice. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get this, pop this Eulorium dust into here. Alright, so, what is, how do we do this? Well, we put lead in here, and we put pulverized obsidian. So, this is effectively uh, just like any other smelter, except it uses specific recipes. Um, you know, much like any other um, item in the game. Uh, it's just like a crafting table, but it's a smelter. So you can smelt two things together, form a new uh, thing. If we wanted to not have a... Uh, you know, pulverize the silver and gold. We could have just. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jan. Uh, we could have just put it in here and got the electrum that way. Uh, but yeah, so there's several recipes right now. Though we're just going to be using it to make pulverized glass, which actually is going to get routed into here, or ha hardened glass. What am I talking about? But this hardened glass um, is now all we needed for the conduits. Now we're not quite done though. We're gonna get 24. It's really a pretty decent amount. Oh, we're gonna put the rest in here for now because we're not doing the. We're not trying to make things pretty right now. We're just trying to uh, get things done because we were kind of trying to just get into the uh, the part of the game where we can, you know, have fun. Uh, and right now, it's just the the crazy. I don't know what's happening stage. Magma Crucible, that's what's going to be kind of difficult. So we need the lead, okay, so here's how we're going to do this. Four lead, we have that. We need this, put in this form, no! Alright, now we need some glass, which I'm sure I have in some chest. And by the way guys, our next step is the AE system. It's totally what we got to do. Uh, I'm still trying to get to end game pretty quick, you know, that is still the, uh, the underlying goal of this uh, this series, and honestly, without an AA system, it's not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. I don't believe I've actually been to the Nether yet. Uh, it's definitely something I should probably know if I have or have not. But uh, it would turn out that I did not, not quite. So we're going to have to go there real quick. And with the magic of editing, I will be able to do that in just an instant. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get the glass starting to be made. Let me get eight pieces of sand out of here. Apparently TeamSpeak is just exploding with links right now. Alright, let's just go home home, why not? Easy. Alright, so we're gonna put uh 
eight pieces of sand in there. Oh, we already had four. But now we have five. Alright, now we need gold to be oh my gosh. Our organization is not the best, guys. Not right now. Right, we need the gold, we need the iron, and the two pieces of glass. There we go. By the way, uh, I just want to go ahead and put this out there. There is going to be a little bit of a stall in uploads because uh, summer school starts tomorrow, actually, uh, at the date of this recording, the 16th of, um, of June. So, uh, you know, there is going to be a little bit of a stalling of uh, that. But I I'll still try and get as many up as possible. Um, yeah. And no, guys, I didn't fail any grades or anything like that. Um, I'm actually just taking a class so that I can have two electives next year. Uh, if you've ever gone to high school, you probably know that you have to, you know, try and get a certain amount of credits by the end of the year. And I just wanted to take an elective, or two electives sophomore year, in, uh, instead of one. Because I still wanted to take Spanish at least three years. But anyway, enough of that. Um, let's go ahead and get this magma crucible almost made. Alright, I'll be right back with the uh, stuff from the nether. Alright guys, this is magic of editing, it took you no time, but it actually uh, didn't really take me any time either, because there's another fortress right by the spawn. So, induction smelter, I mean, oh, mag magma crucible, here we are. Whoops, magma crucible, here we are. There we go. Now, the magma crucible, it's quite an interesting item. It basically just smelts anything that it, uh, it has in its inventory. It's literally all it does. It's not that interesting, actually. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we're going to use it in quite the same manner, except we're just going to go ahead and get a bucket to fill it up. Screw it, I'll make a new bucket. Fill up the engine, I mean. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so nice living by an ocean. One more trip. And... Alright, so. We're going to get some coal. Right here. Alright, so. This magma crucible is... Is this going right? Okay, good. Yeah. So magma crucible is going to be used to uh, actually melt down redstone, believe it or not. We put redstone in here, it's going to melt across. It's going to make liquid redstone, or energized redstone, or something like that. Let's see uh, actually what it's called. Uh, it's back here. Destabilized redstone. Um, and then that, since it's right here, will be then transferred over here, because, remember, they interface quite well. Uh, and then, after enough, we can put this in here. And once giving power to this machine, which we will do after it melts a good bit of redstone, because... Actually, you know what? No, we'll just make another steam dynamo. Mwahaha. Uh... Alright. Get our redstone that just happened to fall out on the ground. Make one of these. All right. I believe that's all we need. Oh wait, no, we don't actually need that. We need a silver ingot, which we have dust of the silver. Hmm. Go ahead and cook eight because it's most efficient use of a coal. I'm just going to wait real quick for that while we put this back in here. There we go. And now we just do this. We're just going to go ahead and get more redstone. Oh my gosh. You're telling me silver doesn't stay on a crafting table? It's ridiculous. Alright. Now we just, you know, do that. Oop. Swear. A little bit of lag. There we go. And boom. So now we have another dynamo. We're going to go ahead and get a little bit more coal. We'll just. Oh, that's not too much coal. I'm just going to borrow some more coal from here. Do this. Go outside. We'll just do a few trips. I'll just go ahead and fill it up. This is probably the most fun thing to watch ever. But one more trip of this, and then we won't have to come outside again. Do the flipperoo, tripperoo. And look at that. So this 
Uh, this destabilized redstone is being transposed into these empty conduits, which is then creating normal conduits. And guess what, guys? We can finally transfer power. <sighs> so nice. Alright. So, we could make a solid 10 from what actually melted. There's a few more melting. And, oh, we made an 11. Can we go 12? 12 is a lucky number, I'm pretty sure. No. I think I need one more redstone to melt. Uh, come on. Come on. Yay, 12. Uh-oh. Might make 13. And let's be honest, that's probably not a good number. Anyway, we can break this now. And we can take this and let the power run out, of course, because we don't want to waste anything right now. But off, uh, after that, we can just wire these things up. Now, uh, let's see. Let me actually check the time on this video real quick. I want to make sure how much we got left. Uh, we got plenty of time. All right. So anyway, um, we're going to have to do a little bit of reorganizing, but uh, this is done. I'm going to go ahead and take this. Okay. So unfortunately, we're actually going to have to lose some power in order to um, to do this. But honestly, we're going to gain power back later on, so we're just going to have to bite the bullet now. Um, I'm just going to make another chest real quick, because um, we need to be able to... I think my dog is snoring. I'm sorry about that. He didn't clear with that. Hey, puppy. Apparently she woke up. Anyway, uh, we're going to just go ahead and clear this chest out, empty our inventory into here. Alright, now we're going to break that, go ahead and get this item real quick, let's drop this chest into there, alright, so now we're going to break this, we're also going to break this because we don't need this to be here, Boop. and we can also get some dirt, which I'm sure I have plenty of, and we'll fill this up, well actually, do we have any buckets? We have buckets. I know we have buckets, I just don't know where they are. There they are. There we go. Just wanted to get two. Oop. Alright. So, um, maybe Aquas Accumulator, Induction Smelter. So, um, I think I'm going to actually move this. By the way, shift right clicking with this. Uh, oh, I might have lost some destabilized redstone. I didn't think about that. You do actually lose their inventory. You should remember that, guys. Um, it's not the first block. So these machines possibly uh, will, or er, more more than likely, will stay exactly where I put them here. Um, like I said, we're not going to have too many things above ground, but I do think that some machinery should stay above ground um, at all times. So I usually like to put my Magma crucible here, induction smelter here, and fluid transposer here. That's just my general um, progression of machines, but you guys can you know use whatever you want. Now, uh, with the 13 that we have, firstly, we want to mine the dirt below them. Now, these are basically just pipes. They can go anywhere. Um, they take up one block. Nice thing uh, is though, you can actually pass. You know, uh, you can actually step. Like, you know, they're not full blocks. You can actually, uh, step into them. Uh, they're cool like that. Anyway, so we now have all of these wired up. Now, if we apply power, the power will evenly be distributed across this network. Um, now, of course, we don't have a power, uh, we don't have a place to put power, uh, things right now. Um, so we're gonna make, basically, Power Station 1.0, um, of our base. This is gonna be the first little power system we ever have. Oh my gosh, man, dynamos are brilliant. Alright, that's it's gonna look terrible, but it's fine. Um alright. Now, uh we need one more thing. Back in the day in thermal expansion, I just remembered we still need this. Uh there was something called a liquid duck. Um well those are gone and done away with. But there is a fluid duck. Uh, fluid duct, whatever. I guess you can put that T on it if you really want to. But the fluid ducts are really awesome. Um, we only need copper and lead. 
because we don't need them to be see-through. But uh, if you do want to be a cool cat, you can make them see-through. So, copper and lead. Copper, we're going to get about... You know what, we'll just get two copper and one lead. We don't need too many. Not right now, of course. Um, and this isn't even our full power. We're going to have a completely renewable power, and possibly next episode or the episode after that. It's going to be uh, fine. It's going to be fine. It's going it's to be fine, man. Alright, so uh, do I have any in here? No, that's silver. Um, oops, gotta get two more. Boop, boop. Aight. And don't worry, this this whole furnace stuff, thing of a past soon. Saying a thing of the past soon. Sorry about that, guys. Had to go and help uh, do something in the other room. However, yes, like I said, this entire thing's a thing of the past very soon. Now, uh, where were we? We were going to make some of these things. Alright, so, opaque item, or er, fluidux. Liquidux, I'm sorry. Oh, fluidux, gosh. What is wrong with me? Now, um, steam engines are really awesome. I don't believe they can start blow up, and if they can, well, <laughs> whoops. Um, but as far as I know, sorry about that, my mouse is kind of it's kind of crazy sometimes. Gets a little dust under it, or in this little like sensor thing, and whew, just done. Okay, so place this like that, and boom. So now, as you can see, the water's being evenly distributed across these. Quite easy. All right. So, believe it or not, our system is pretty set up now. Of course, there's uh, also the fact that uh, this thing just turns on whenever it gets fuel, but um. Honestly, I feel like this is definitely a decent start because I don't want to stay on this power for very long. I really want to use lava power very soon. However, we do need some kind of power, just uh, you know, very basic, just so that we can clear out a very large amount of area um, very simply. Uh, and we're going to be using a filler for that, for sure, because fillers are you know amazing. But now, uh, as I'm about to show you. Um, we don't need this 32 coal in there anymore, and uh, we can just evenly, and or try to evenly distribute as much as possible. Oh my gosh. There we, there we go. So we're going to put 10, 11, and 11. And there we go. So now our system is being primed and charged with these engines. So yeah, there we go. Uh, but with that, guys, I believe we're pretty close to the end of this uh, episode. I thank you all for watching, and, uh, you know, thank you for being here and supporting me. It's very nice. Um, <laughs> I'm glad that we're both both able to enjoy Minecraft as much as uh, the other. And thank you again for watching. That's really all I can say. Please, if you did like it, like it. If you disliked it, please dislike it so I can know. But please don't dislike it if you did like it, so that would make no sense. Um, and if you have not you know, constructive criticism, anything really, a comment on the series, then leave a comment. That's usually what they're used for. But this is Halen220. I'm going to possibly do a little bit off camera, just, you know, getting some more ores, pulverizing them. Um, this will actually start smelting them now, which is nice. Uh, I think I might even, nope, I think I might even make this not output to the right. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you for what? oh, no, thank you for watching. <laughs> and goodbye. Just a quick little thing I wanted to throw in, uh, really quite briefly is, um, <coughs> sorry. This uh, pulverizer, while it does accept from the left, doesn't take anything from this chest. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't really work like that. That would be pretty cool. Um, not, of course, for this you know purpose, but uh, it would be pretty cool. Also, though, um, if we wanted to, we could actually turn this furnace like on its side or something, making its right actually face this way, or making its uh, left actually face this way and its back face this, and um, actually make it output right here if we really wanted to. Unless we want the output to be up the top, um, which we might do. But um, for now, I think I'm actually going to make the input to the top because uh, I have quite a bit of, you know, uh, pulverizing to do. Uh, which this isn't actually facing the right way, now is it? Nope. 
Whoops. You know what? Oh gosh. I'm gonna break this and replace it just like that. There we go. And boom, boom, boom. Alright, so that'll do that. Um, but yeah guys, sorry for, for you know, coming back in after I said I was done. But just clearing something up just in case anybody is new to this mod because it is quite a great mod and I do want everybody to be able to understand that. By the way, also don't be alarmed at how primitive this is right now. This is literally just to, you know, get us a little bit of power that um, our machines can use. This is not even close to being what we're going to stick with for a while. Like I said, next episode, the episode after that, we're changing it all. Anyway, guys, like I said, actually thanks for watching this time. This has been Hayland. Goodbye.